Hello and welcome to this edition of Olivetti's Colour Application Guide. Now today we're going to take a look at how easy it is to produce banner prints. Just imagine producing internal signage just like this in high quality colour simply by using your Olivetti Decolour MFP. Now the paper that we use is 1.2 metres in length by 297 millimetres wide and can be purchased directly from your Olivetti dealer in packs of 100 sheets. It has a weight of 150 grams and its service is very smooth which means as you can see the colours are both strong and vibrant. Now for today's demonstration we'll be using an MFP selected from our range of seven models offering speeds from 22 pages per minute right up to 60 pages in full colour. Now the D-Colour MF282 Plus can print up to 28 pages per minute and can also print onto banner paper and also SRA3. It offers network printing, network scanning, a fax option and full finishing options too. Right, to put the MFP into banner print mode we first need to wake the MFP up as it's currently sleeping. Now when sleeping the MFP uses less than one watt of energy so you can imagine how that can reduce your energy costs. Now as soon as your hand comes in proximity with the machine the MFP will wake up and it's ready to go in seconds. Now to put the MFP into banner print mode is easy. First of all we need to select the utility button on the touch display. We then have a new menu and menu number six is banner printing. Select banner printing, select allow and select OK. That's now put the MFP into banner print mode. Now if we still have incoming faxes, if we have the fax option installed, or incoming prints from the network, we have a 250 gigabyte hard disk drive which will store all of that information. So when we revert back to the normal MFP, all of these documents will be automatically printed. Now you may be thinking, but how easy is it to create the banner file for printing in the first place? Well, of course, you may already have a marketing department that can prepare banner files in PDF format from DTP software such as Adobe InDesign. But if you want to create a simple banner and you don't have access to graphic design support, you can do it yourself easily by using Microsoft PowerPoint, for example. Let's go and take a look. So let's open Microsoft PowerPoint. Now here we can see clearly we don't have a banner print template. We have a slide template. Let's go to the Design tab. Go to Page Setup. And let's change it from the on-screen show to make a custom banner size paper. So our width is 120 centimetres and the height of our document is 29.7 centimetres. Let's confirm that and now we've got a nice blank template that we can start filling to create our banner. And that's the beauty of PowerPoint. So if we go back to the home menu, of course we can see uh, here we've got an insert, we can take clip art, we can add pictures, we can add logos, you can actually build this image up any way you want to. So when you finish creating your banner, we then need to prepare the MFP's printer driver ready for printing. So let's do this, let's go to File Print. Now clearly you can see here the driver hasn't set the correct orientation here. So we need to tell it what size of banner paper it is. I have the correct uh, printer ready, which is the D-Color MF282 Plus. We'll just go into Printer Properties. And here's the driver. So in Printer Properties, let's go to the Basic tab. And we need to tell it what the original size is because the default here is set to A4. Let's come down to custom size and quite handy in our driver it's in millimetres so we can put the width here at 297 millimetres and the length of the banner at 1200 millimetres. 
just select OK. A little pop-up tab says, OK, now I know it's Banner, you need to feed it through the bypass tray. Of course, Banner won't fit through one of the paper tray cassettes built into the machine. And you also need to set the fuser to thick paper one because we're using Banner paper, we have a thickness of 150 grams per meter squared. So it's a little bit thicker than normal plain paper. So we just confirm that. We can then select OK. Now we can see we've got the correct template and we can release our job to print. So as you can see, the data from the PC has been received by the MFP and it's processed the data. It's now asking me to load banner paper into the bypass. So I have my sheet of banner paper. I've opened the bypass and I just need to offer it to the MFP. Keeping the paper held vertically because it will be gravity fed and just to confirm that with the machine, I'll press the button complete. So how easy was that? Now we can produce uh, single page banner prints um, using the standard configuration of the MFP um, but you could send down more uh, multiple prints it just means that after you've produced uh, print number one let's say you sent down ten it would then ask you to load sheet two and then when that's completed sheet three and so on. If you think you're going to do a lot of banners actually you could, there's also an option where you can have a banner tray fitted to the bypass which can hold multiple sheets. So once we've completed our banner, we just need to tell the machine it's not a banner printer anymore. And to do that, we just simply press exit, confirm, and it's back to an MFP.